Show off your armor in style with the beautiful 1.8 armor stands. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. I'm your host, OMG Chad. Today we are getting into the 1.8 armor stands. There were all sorts of awesome things that came out in 1.8. You got new fences, you got cool armor stands, we got cool blocks, and we are going to cover the armor stands and all the things that you can do with them. So here we are, and actually this is the world that I did the flags in. Sheep, where did you come from? Ha <laughs> ha, death. Is a pun. You can tell that we're in 1.8 because look at this raw mutton. You weren't able to get that before. But here we are with armor stands. This is what an armor stand looks like. The crafting recipe is pretty simple. You do need a stone slab, which does require smooth stone. So you have to make smooth stone in a furnace, then you get some stone slabs. Then just a few sticks. In this configuration, you can think of it as some feet, a body, a head, and some arms, and you get an armor stand. These can just be placed in the world, just like this, and they are entities. So if I was to try to place it uh, right here, it will fall. Uh, so you can see that it has gravity. Um, and it also will respect which direction you have placed it in. So I kind of put it in a diagonal uh, direction. And, uh, and you can also see these move sometimes, uh, just, just like that. What can you do with armor stands? Well, of course, you can throw some armor on them. I'm in creative mode, so it's not gonna use up the armor that I put on to this. It's very simple, there's no GUI, there's no UI to this. You just click it with the armor that you want. Now, I also have this diamond sword. And uh, at the moment, you can't use uh, the diamond sword with this armor stand, but you may have seen images online of these armor stands with arms on them. And there's, uh, you can do a few vanilla commands to get these types of things. So we can do uh, an entity data command. We are going to do the at E argument. Uh, this is going to be entity type. This will actually needs to be equal armor stand, and I've set this to a radius of three. So this is going to affect a radius of three around me. And then you can set different arguments. So uh, let's say that I want to uh, show arms. So this will affect all the entities around me in a radius of three, which includes this one right here. Now he has arms. Now, of course, if you're on a, a server, and this one over here, which I added, also now uh, has arms. If you're on a server, you probably won't be able to do this to your armor stands because you do need permissions from the server to do that command. But now that he has arms, I can actually add uh, a sword into his arm. I can add a bow. There he goes, now he's holding the bow. And then that look really, really cool. Now, if you also have op, there's a few more things that you can do. So first, let me go ahead and summon an armor stand here. Uh, I'm gonna have this be relative to me. So we're gonna, that's what all those little tildes are. And this time uh, I'm gonna summon uh, a small one. So this one, I can add this argument of it being small. And we'll set that to one as true, uh, basically. So there he is. He was summoned exactly where I was standing. And you can tell that because this is an entity, he's not placed directly on the block. He's not, like, say, placed right in the middle because I was standing uh, sort of off into the edge. So, like, let's say I wanted to hang, hang on this edge right here and then summon him. Uh, there he is. He's uh, kind of next to the edge. This will work with the armor still. So I can throw this tiny, little teeny tiny armor onto this guy. I was facing this direction. That's why he has summoned in this direction. And there we go. So that's a baby armor stand. Now, some of the things uh, that you can also affect with these guys, let's go back to this entity data, which I was affecting before. You can do things like make these guys invisible. There we go. And now all of the armor stands are invisible. This guy, which was standing right here, you can't see him anymore, but we can throw a sword into his hand. Let's change that back. So if we set that to zero, that means false, basically. So now he's going to be seen. Now this guy over here didn't, these, both of them didn't show back up. That's because I was standing too far away from them. If you remember, that command has a radius of three in it. So if I re-execute that over here, there they are. Now you can see them. You can affect a lot of things uh, using these commands, like no base plate, bam, there we go. And now all the base plates for these guys have disappeared. Now they look a little bit more like they're actually standing 
on their own. Now, of course, you can see in the chat, this is just absurd. Uh, it's because it's showing basically all of the NBT data, basically all the things <laughs> that you can do. This is actually a really good uh, way to maybe find stuff that you want to change. You have the, the base right here. The motion is set to zero. You could do uh, invulnerable, uh, the death time. There's all sorts of information in here. You can also pose different items of the armor stand here. Uh, let's pose the head, because I already have that written out here. You write down pose, and then a colon in the bracket, and the thing that you want to pose, a colon, and then these hard brackets here. Uh, let's say we want them to look up into the sky. Well, that's going to be a negative value, so we'll do negative 40. And this F uh, stands for floating point, which uh, when you're dealing with angles is something that you have uh, to add. So add an F after each of the values that you want, and there's three of them, up, down, left, right, and tilt. And then you go ahead and hit enter, and there he goes. Now he's looking up into the sky there, and we can redo that if we want. So let's set that to, how about instead of negative 40, let's do 40, and now he looks down at the ground. This can be done with the left arm, the right arm, the left leg, the right leg. You can even do the body, and the body looks kind of weird. <laughs> you can see that the body changed to 40. It's kind of in line with his head, but uh, it becomes a little bit detached there. Uh, it looks like he's, he's punched a gut or something. Really, really weird. So, uh, the <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? I affected all of them because I was still using my radius command. So you can see what it looks like when he's not wearing armor and what it does to the baby as well. Yep. So as you can tell, armor stands are a ton of fun. Either you can just put them into your world in vanilla, or you can start posing them around and adding crazy NBT tags to them. A few other tags that I haven't covered but are available are disable slots so that people can't put items onto the armor stand. Uh, you can have it have no gravity, so if you need them to float around just like a normal block in world, you can do that as well. Uh, and then, you have, of course, you can make them invulnerable or any of the, uh, of the many, many NBT tags that are available uh, to all blocks in Minecraft. And that is Armor Stands. If you'd like to give us a like, please do so on YouTube. And also subscribe to the show at youtube.com slash omgcraft. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week.